Once the diagnosis is made, the next decision is what drug to start with. That will depend partly on how the patient responded in, the, in a procedure called a heart catheterization uh, to a number of drugs that might be given during that procedure. When I started practicing in the 1970s, we only had a few means of treatment. Oxygen supplementation on a permanent basis, 24 hours, seven days a week was utilized. A new class of drugs uh, came available, became available in the 1970s called calcium channel blockers, and they were found to be uh, capable of dilating or relaxing the arteries in the, in, the, uh, in the lungs, and calcium channel blockers became the mainstay of treatment. Unfortunately, the number of patients, the percentage of patients that responded to th this class of drugs was pretty low, and the outlook with somebody uh, with significant pulmonary hypertension was perhaps a year or two of life and not good quality of life. Over the past 30 years, uh, through research, through uh, uh, incredible technical advancements, a number of new drugs have come, become available, uh, which are much more effective. And uh, the outlook for somebody now with pulmonary hypertension uh, is much better. Uh, in terms of uh, longevity and in terms of quality of life. The drugs that are used now are often used in a what we call a serial fashion. We'll start on one particular drug. Uh, perhaps the easiest drug to use could be inhaled uh, periodically throughout the day. And uh, as long as that drug remains six, remains effective, that is what we would probably continue using. At some point, that drug may become less effective as the disease pro progresses. And then we would go to more complex forms of treatment with some of the newer drugs that have to be given uh, continuously intravenously. Um, but this is, and this is also an area where the, the genome product project and our, our rapidly expanding understanding of the genetics of this disease are allowing us to, uh, to develop new drugs specifically at the, the genes that are causing this disease.